Okay. So one of you asked that he puts the inverter on lithium and it's not selecting. So we are using an IVM 8kVA for this demonstration. As you see, my is communicating and lithium. This is where the wire is connected. Let me see if I can get it. You see, it's not connected on the CAN port, but the RS485. Let me remove the communication for a bit. See, it's connected on the RS485, not on the CAN port. And on the battery, we have the 15 kilowatts here. The yeah, new series. We are decommissioning this project, by the way. We are taking it to another site. So let me see. Okay. It's on link zero. This link one is when we're taking it to another for parallel connection and this is our deep switch this is the deep switch connection only number one is on so let's go to the settings and see you long press this goes to settings mode in here we have four settings or five but that's not your concern just go to the first one and select it, then you go to the main menu. Um, we are going to number 8. See, I've already selected it to be lithium. See this battery here, BAT lithium. So if you want to select it, you click, you select. You can change AGM, you can change flooded, you can change it to user define or anything. Once you see the one you want, you see click select again you see it we have stopped blinking and gone to the next one so if you didn't select it if you select you see this one will start blinking for you to know yes we are working on that on our menu so you put it to lithium let's see what happens when we remove it let's put it on user define and go back you see what happened the lithium and the communication is no longer there. But everything is working fine. So let's go back. The first one, settings number eight. Let's put it to lithium. Select. You see, for a moment, the inverter is going to detect that the communication is not there because it's not seeing it. You see, the lithium and the communication is back. There is no error again. Mind you, anytime I own this machine, it will detect zero communication for a moment. Then the error will start. If you put it on lithium and it's not communicating, let's see what happens when you remove this and the inverter is on lithium. You see the communication is not there, but the lithium selection is still there. See, <laughs> error 80. So let's put it back. And for a while, it's going to detect it. It has detected its communication is back and the lithium is there. Thanks for watching, guys.